Hey everybody, welcome to Vacuum Wars. In previous videos, I've concluded that I really like these electric steam mops, generally speaking. I think they are inexpensive tools that basically replace the old mop and bucket. I think they do the same job with a lot less trouble, and if I was still cleaning houses full time, I'm sure I would be using one of these for mopping. In a previous video, I tested four steam mops from Shark and found that their cheapest and most popular one, the Shark S3501, was my favorite. But there is an obvious challenge in the market from a different brand. The Bissell Powerfresh Steam Mop 1940 series, which comes in different colors and styles, is about the same price, it has the same basic features as the Shark, and from what I can tell, is more popular than the Shark as well. For example, if you look at a list of best-selling steam mops in America, the Bissell often is in the number one spot, and the Shark has often been in the number two spot. So it seemed like a no-brainer to put them both through a lot of different tests and really try to figure out if there is an obvious winner between these two super popular steam mops. And spoiler alert, there was an absolute clear winner in my opinion. So links in the description and let's get started. Both of these steam mops operate in a similar way. You only need to add water to the tank. No soaps or chemicals are needed to disinfect, just water. You attach a washable microfiber pad to the bottom, plug it up, steam moistens the pad, and you use it pretty much like you would use a regular mop for dried on stains, wet messes, or just general floor cleaning. One area where they're both very similar is with their cleaning ability. I tested them in a variety of ways, including with dried on coffee, grape juice, and V8 juice stains, and found that they were surprisingly good with these dried on sticky stains. I really don't know how they could do much better than this. They both got most of the dried on material in one full back and forth pass, as good or better than many much more expensive floor washers. The second thing I noticed in this test was that they were essentially the same amount of good at this. That is, I really couldn't tell a difference between them in this regard. So I think it's fair to say they both do their main job extremely well. Another area that they both excelled in is with water efficiency. I tested this by filling each of their tanks to the top and mopped a 40 square foot area 12 times each, so 480 square feet, and measured the amount of water that was left in the tank. The Bissell actually has three steam settings where the Shark just has one, so I tested the Bissell on its low and high power steam setting, and as you can see here, after after the 480 square foot test, there was almost no difference between the low and high steam setting for the Bissell in terms of water usage. I tested the Shark in the exact same way, though I transferred its remaining water to the Bissell's tank so it would be easier to compare, and found that it used a little bit more water than the Bissell did, but not enough to call it a big difference. Before moving on, one obvious thing I noticed in these tests was that it was important to change the pads, especially after using it for sticky jobs. For example, I forgot to change the pad after all the grape juice tests in the studio, and the kitchen floor was a bit sticky after using it. So clean pads are important, but both brands make it easy to remove the pads and to wash them. Also, both brands have inexpensive replacements for those pads that you can even buy locally because they are such popular products. So let's move on to the differences and why I think one of these is better than the other. Here are the pros with the Bissell, an on-off switch. The Bissell can be turned on and off with a button, the same button that cycles through the steam settings, where the shark needs to be unplugged to turn it off, which is inconvenient. The Bissell can stand upright on its own, and the Shark can't, another simple but surprisingly important feature to me. The Bissell has a removable water tank where the Shark doesn't, making filling the tank on the Bissell much more convenient. The Bissell was much better with ergonomics, that is the way that it felt in your hand as you used it, mostly because it just automatically dispenses the steam where the Shark gets its pressure by a kind of pump action on the handle, which automatically works as you make back and forth mopping passes. But over long periods, I found that pump action just kind of affected the mopping motion, made it a little more jarring, and generally made my arm more tired than it was with the Bissell. The Bissell has a longer cord by about three feet. The Bissell also has an extra kind of scrubbing brush on the back that can be engaged or retracted. In the marketing material, they showed all kinds of ways this could be useful. I didn't find much of a difference in the tests that I did. One big pro for the Shark is that the pad can be flipped, so effectively you have one extra pad ready to go at all times, which is valuable. The Shark is also a little bit lighter, but not really by enough to matter. I weighed them with full tanks at six pounds for the Shark and six pounds, six ounces for 
the Bissell. The Shark is typically a bit cheaper than the Bissell, but again, not by much. Both of these are in the same budget price range. Both companies have more expensive steam mops with more bells and whistles and attachments. My experience so far has been that less is more with these steam mops, which is why I think it comes down to one of these two for the best. And I think it's pretty clear that the Bissell Powerfresh 1940 series is the winner. It's cheap, it does the job really well, it has a lot of features and specs that I think people will really appreciate, especially when compared with the Shark, and it adds a lot of value, generally speaking, especially if you are still currently mopping with a mop and bucket to clean floors. Links in the description to both models, and be sure to subscribe to Vacuum Wars before you leave. Thanks for watching.